hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fetch user data from firebase let's say you have an app like this one you have your login page set up and you have your create account with email and password page set up like this your code is already written for both pages to upload the user data to firebase you can create an account using your email and password or using google to learn how to do this you can check out my tutorial in the link down in the description but in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to fetch and display user data from firebase to your web application now here's what to do once you have your user authentication set up like this you can create accounts on your app by inputting your email and then inputting your password and then clicking on register once an account is created you can go back to firebase and refresh your users and the account you just created will appear in firebase here so to log in you just go back to the login form and input that email and password you use to create the account and click on login and this will take you to the dashboard page this is what i'm going to show you how to create in this video and i'm going to show you how to fetch the user details of this account to display here so let's get started the first thing you need to do is create a dashboard page go back to your project and create a dashboard page like this one as you can see i have a profile section here and in that profile section i have a card which says user profile and within that user profile i have text for the username please note that i have a span here for the username i gave it an id of username and another one i have text for the email here and i gave it an id of user email and finally i have an image here which will be our profile picture so the id is user profile picture once you've created this page all you need to do now is create a file called dashboard.js in that dashboard file what you need to do is import firebase initialize app you import get auth on state change and sign out copy your firebase login credentials then initialize firebase and then initialize geroth and then define our user here once you're here all you need to do is run this function called on auth state change this function is given to us by firebase and it is executed whenever you log in or log out of your app so we need that function to access our user here it is given to us in firebase like this on auth state changed takes an auth and user as our parameters if our user doesn't exist what we want to do is to alert the user to create an account and log in on our app and then redirect them to the register the html page if our user does exist however what we want to do is update their user profile this function is not written yet we are going to have to write it we will define it like this and we'll take the user as a parameter or an argument we will declare and initialize our username our email and our profile please note that our definitions here take the user object and then it's display name the user object and it's email the user object and it's auto url once we've defined our user data all we need to do is display it on our site this is simple we simply grab the element we want to change and then set its text constant to our username we do the same for the email and our profile picture here 
and then we save this as it is we go back to our app here we go back we sign out let me sign out and then sign in the account i created earlier this one i say hello again and as you can see our email is displayed here but what you will notice is that our name and our profile pictures are not defined yet this is because we created our account here using an email and password if i go back to our register the html file here you'll see that when we create our account we call the create user with email and password function here and we give it our email and we give it our password we don't give it the profile picture and we don't give it our username but if we were to sign in with google or another service provider you will notice that they take your google username and your google picture so go back to our app and log in with google here yeah. and what you will notice once you are logged in is that we have successfully fetched our name and we've successfully fetched our email and our profile picture all you need to know is that when we create an account on firebase we create an object called user we can console log the user object to see its attribute in the console here so when i save this i go back to our app here and i inspect our web page go to the console what you will notice is that this object appears here and it has our display name our email our access token all our data is here you can usually fetch all of this information and display it here in your ui and you can update and change it using a function called update profile which i will show you in the next video to access the code for this tutorial please consider supporting me using my pay link in the description down below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one